What is up guys? I am back. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in actually quite a long time. Um, COVID has been just crazy. I you guys know about it, obviously. And um, it's just been hard, but I'm going to try and get back into it a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'm going to start with a brand new series, just kind of start fresh, um, of uh, Astroneer. I've played this game a little bit. I haven't played an absolute ton, but I have played it a little bit. So, this is a brand new experience for me. But uh, I think it'd be pretty fun. I haven't uploaded it on my channel either, so it should be something to do. Okay, this is my little base. I decided to go with the little bubble, uh, bubble suit guy with some orange. Alright, so, to start with, we need to get our basic stuff. There we go. And then, I believe we need to put our oxygenator in here. Because that'll, like, extend the range of our oxygen, because we can get oxygen from our shelter anyway. But, this should make it, like, be able to go to tethers and stuff like that. So, let's go ahead and get our first platform. Unpack it. And our printer. Oops, please go in the middle. Thank you. There we go. Um, let's actually rotate this. Because, there we go. Why not facing that way? And then, let's go ahead and plug in this cable to give the platform uh, power. I can build quite a few things with this already without having to really unlock anything. Um, I'm going to start with, so right here is all the things I can research. Um, I'm probably going to start with trying to get a large platform B, because if we have these, it's just, it's really useful and it speeds up, like, a lot of stuff, a lot of progress. Um, so I think I'm going to try and get that, but that costs 500 bytes, which I have to research items and stuff like that to actually unlock those. So that might take a little bit. So I'm going to start with a large platform A, I think, and try and get a research chamber so we can unlock some bites. Okay, so for that we need resin and over here. Okay, so you see, I don't, I'm not connected to oxygen right now, so I am kind of on a timer. But if I get some of this compound right here, then I can go and get back in the oxygen line. I can actually craft tethers, just like that. And then now, if I place these tethers, when it's in, like, the connection of the tether line, if that makes any sense. Um, it'll extend how far I can go with oxygen. So now, this whole entire time, I've connected oxygen because of these oxygen tethers. It's really cool. So I can basically make huge, uh, just paths that I can go and get resources. So this is resin. This is stuff I'm looking forward to build the platforms. This gold, coral, tubey kind of looking stuff. I'm pretty sure it was only two. I'm gonna get up a little bit more. Get three. Go ahead and head back to our base so we can go ahead and build the platform. I love the way my guy runs, he's like flinging his arms around. One, platform A. Yeah, this is gonna take a second to craft, but um, to get the bites to get the platform B. Because if you see the platform B, it's like the little things on the side, that's what I'm that's what I want to um, that's why I want to unlock it because it's a lot, it's a lot better basically. Um, so I need to get bites, which means I need a research chamber, and that's going to be compound and resin. So, okay. So, do I have any more compound or use it all in the tethers? Okay, I have one compound, and and I have the uh, extra resin I grab, so I need one more um, compound. Yeah. So this compound. That was organic. There we go. Compound. There we go, got some more compound. Now, we kind of just have to like wait for this to be done. Um, but in the meantime, actually, we're going to need to build a small printer to build different things. So, let's see. Small printer. Because you can't, like, there's specific things in the small printer that you can't actually build in the medium printer. Let's put that right there on the same platform, so you might as well. And then, because you can see in here, we can build these other things. Well, like this medium platform or the medium storage with the rope receiver or whatever, we can't actually build in this. So that's why a small printer is so useful, even though we have a medium printer. Let's go ahead and put this platform right here. And we can start building the research chamber. And then let's unpack the platform. And connect it to this one, because the power from this goes into this one, and then it can travel over here. And then I should be able to put this uh, research chamber on it and get some research things, researching and 
get some research points or bites. Um, so I'm gonna actually try and look for some research items that I can use um, to be able to research stuff. And I think sometimes there are some underneath these bushes that have like the horny things poking out. Oh yeah, there's one right there. And there's a research item. You have to dig it out completely, otherwise it won't actually um, fall. I'm actually gonna. So these horny things that I was talking about, actually, you can actually just scan these just right here, and it'll give you a little bit of bites. It would take a while to get to 500 that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this back, so that we can put this on the research chamber once we, uh, once um, it's done building. Set this on my landing pad. And I think there might be another one over here. Let's go ahead and actually get some more compound though, so I can build a tether line over there, so it's a little bit safer. Let's get, let's get more than one, just so that we can actually have a little bit of extra, in case we run out of tethers while we're over there. Oh, wait, I only got, oh, it was organic that I got, I thought I got a compound. Okay, grab one more compound. Bam, there we go. Go ahead and build some tethers. Tethers go, tethers. Bam. There we go, so our research chamber done. Almost. I think we can go ahead and wait here and grab it. Uh, what happened? I don't know what just happened. That was weird. I like lost power or something for a second. Not sure what happened. Okay, come on. Alright, it's almost done. Just a little bit left to build. There we go. Throw it right there. Research chamber. And we can actually go ahead and uh, put the research item inside of it once it unfolds. There we go. And then we can turn it on. See, that has 720 bytes, which we we'll need 500 for what we want right now. Um, it's going to take a little bit, though, to actually research. The more power we get into it, the faster it will actually go. So we could try and put some more power into it. Um, but let's, for now, go ahead and try and get this uh, research item. Go ahead and sprint on over here. Research this. Yep, there's another one. Take it all the way out. There we go, and it fell, so we can grab it now. We can go and run over here. Let's just go ahead and set this by it so that I can um, put it in there when this one is done. But this one is going to take a little while to get the amount we need. So I think I'm going to try and actually do a little bit of generator stuff here. Um, I need to build a small generator. Might try and build a couple of these because these aren't going to give a lot of power. Go ahead and set it right here. We can go ahead and connect this actually up to this so it'll put power to it. And then if okay, it produces one power, and this one uses two power. And that one also uses two power when it's using, uh, when it's active. So this will give it a little bit extra power when it runs off of organic. You can see that that pumped it up, and it should be going a lot faster now. You can actually see it's going a lot faster because um, it's one small generator. But it is going to run out of organic. We are going to have to put a little bit more in there. That's okay. Now we're gonna want to start working on the large platform bees, because that's just it's just a lot better. Um, it's a lot cleaner if you want to build your base with those versus actually like the, just the A's. It's just it's a lot better. It's a lot easier to work with. Let's go and run back over to where we had our resin, because we need resin for the platform bees. So we're gonna need three for each one. So let's go and gather up some more. There's some more resin over here, though. I think I'm gonna go ahead and run over here and just dig up some of this resin. Go ahead. And, what is that? Wow! If you look at my cursor, it looks like there's some kind of like wreck over there or something. That's cool. It's actually really cool. There we go. That wasn't very much resin, actually. How much do we have? Okay, we have three. Is there any more down here? There's a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Perfect, perfect. There we go. Oh, some more resin. Not a lot of resin over here, though. 
I have to try and find another area that has some ruins. Looks like there's some up there. Not very much though. Okay, our generators run out of. Um, so we need to put some more in there. You just shift click where it's asking for organic, then it'll just put it in there if it's near in between. So this should be only another like two ish minutes. We can get that going pretty fast. How many bites do I have? 290. So I need about 200 more. And. So I didn't actually have to wait for this to fully finish. Um, but I am going to want... Uh, I'm going to move this a little bit, actually, because... Wait, can I just set that on? Oh, that's much easier. It still powers it, right? Yeah, okay, sick. Um, what can I build in here? Premier, medium platform, medium storage. Um, okay, nothing I really need, like, right now. Um, nothing, like... I really, really need right now. So let's just wait until we get to 500 bytes. Which we're actually getting really, really close. And we're gonna want the large platform B. That'll be great. We can make one of those and kind of organize our base a little bit better. Come on. Sixty more. Come on. Okay, let's make sure this doesn't run out of power, though, because that would be pretty bad if this didn't run out of power. Would be the best, but. And there we go. I want that. Then go ahead and actually start building one. Uh, I'm actually going to move the small printer for now. And I'm going to actually go get some more compound and actually build another small generator. Let's grab some of this organic to fuel the generators. Wow, we got a ton of organic. Nice. That's really good. We can fuel a bunch of the generators then. Go and gather up some of this compound to make another generator though. Just to help things move a little bit quicker, let's go ahead and uh, go in here, build another small generator. Go ahead and put organic in that one. And then also put some organic in that one. I mean to put that on that slot. There we go. And you know what? I can even make another one. Make things run super fast. I go ahead and throw that down right here. So there's no more room actually on that platform, but I can throw it right here and then connect it to there and put the organic in there. Now things are running much, much quicker. That's really, really good. Eventually we can get much better like sources of power and stuff like that. And that's definitely a big thing to get later. Just not really right now. Um, the next thing we might want to build is actually like smeltery maybe so we can smell ores or a soil centrifuge is actually really nice because it actually um allows you to like you can, okay you can build soil canisters that when you dig it gathers soil and then you can put that in there and make it into like resin compound all kinds of different resources but i need aluminum for that and that i need a certain ore and then i have to smelt that so i think we're going to want to start with the smelting port furnace we're gonna unlock that because we actually just hit enough bites to unlock that um this is about to finish though i think right yep okay that's gonna finish it's gonna go away and then we can put the new one in there once it's done there we go perfect since we already started the first time it'll automatically start that one let's go and unpack this i'm not gonna put anything on it yet because i actually want to put the soil set or not the soil set what was it the uh actually the smelting furnace on it okay so I have no compound or anything or resin. Okay, so I need one compound and two resin. I need to find more resin. Not really. This was a good um, source of compound. So we haven't had to find a new thing of compound yet. So that's really really useful. We got the one compound. I'm gonna get one extra, just because it's not too hard to get. Always need compound. There we go. And then let's go ahead and do a little bit of exploring. I'm actually just going to tether over here to this resin and see if it's actually like more than it looks like. I'm going to research these. There might even be a object underneath. Oh yeah, there is. Awesome. Now, all, not all research, research items actually look like this one. Um, these are just all like the plant ones. I got one resin out of that, but that's one because I had gathered enough of uh, before from the other area, but I really am not seeing any resin. Um, oh gosh, well there's some resin. <laughs> Look at that. 
Um, this isn't good though. I'm kind of stuck in a hole. Come on. Gotta get out of this hole. Because I'm gonna run out of oxygen. Um, okay, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Okay. Kind of got worried there for a second. Oh, that is a big hole. Don't want to fall in that hole. Okay. Some graphite, I think that is called over right there. Is that. Okay. Is there resin anywhere? I'm just gonna run around for a minute. Try and find some resin. Grab some organic. Um, okay, there's some up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some tethers over to there. And then hopefully um, be able to. Come on, there we go. Go ahead and go right on over here. I think I'm out of tethers here. I'm gonna have to make one more set of tethers and hope that's close enough. Even if it's not close enough, I'll probably just run like run out for each other because I need to save my compound that I have for um, the uh, smeltery. There we go. Nice going run up here. I think it was. Or somewhere around here, right? Where is it? Was it over here? Maybe? I don't remember where it was. Is it up here? Yep, here it is. Um, I'll just dig it up. I'm close enough to the tether one. I can just run back. Really, dude? There's like no resin. There's just that little bit. Oh, wait, there's some more right there. Oh my gosh, it's not even enough. Some stuff right here I might be able to get some from. Power cell. Grab that, I guess. Just a bunch of random debris and stuff. Anything actually useful? Small solar panel. That's actually pretty good because it can actually charge um, my backpack right now. Because um, my digging and a bunch of other stuff. This is actually clay, I think. This is clay. We'll grab some of this. Yeah, clay. Hey, I got an achievement. Interesting. I actually am so confused on where all this resin is right now. I'm very, very confused. Where is resin? I might just run randomly and try and find some. So I think I'm gonna have to go like pretty far out. Come on. Is there really no resin? Oh yes! There's a ton of resin. Okay, let's try and grab this quick and get back so I don't suffocate <laughs> and die. Well battery, I need that. Batteries are so good. Okay, grab this resin. Okay, I think I only needed that one, but I'm gonna grab a little bit more. Wait, actually, wait, I want that. I'm gonna throw organic on the ground. So I can grab this resin. I gotta go. Gotta go quick, gotta go quick. <sighs> Come on, don't suffocate. So you can see, like, right on, like, above my storage thing, that's actually my oxygen bar. Okay, we should be fine. We might start suffocating. Oh, yeah, we're taking damage, but there we go. Made it to the oxygen line. Perfect. That's great. Alright, let's go ahead and go over here and start crafting smeltery. Awesome. And we can go ahead and put some organic in the yeast to help speed it up a lot. Research is going pretty good as well. That's good. Come on, craft, craft, craft. How many bites do we have? 350 bites. We need 750 for this. Um, and then we need aluminum. And then I want to build medium storages, because, oh, this isn't connected to power. Uh, connect that right there. Because with the platform B, I'll show you guys how this is actually like really, really cool, and it um, helps out a lot. Would like to get a second one, but that can wait for right now. just want to get this smeltery mainly online. The smeltery is really the biggest thing I need to get going. Okay, let's go ahead and put this over here for now. Come on, soil centric. Soil centrifuge, what am I saying? Smelting furnace, not soil centrifuge. Okay, how's my, is my battery? Yeah, okay. So this battery can actually like hold a bunch of power, so that like, um, especially if I like upgrade my drill later, like my gun drill thing later on, it'll like help me save power whenever I'm using okay, let's turn this this way. And we can actually, okay, so if we take this storage, I want to put another one to put on the other side, but we can put it right here. And then if we collapse it, 
this so instead of these two slots that we can put stuff on it actually has eight and just as a demonstration I can take this clay and just throw it on there and um, if I turn it on it'll actually smelt it into I'm really sure it's called ceramic it's a clay smelts into it I believe um, and then with that I actually um, craft some other stuff but this actually helps a lot because um, I can have a lot more stuff stored on there as well as if I have one on this side whatever finishes here we'll put on there and then it can hold more stuff so if I have eight things here getting ready to smell I have eight storage over here if that makes sense it's really cool let's go ahead and put this on there okay well I think that's gonna be it guys um, so yeah thank you for watching if you guys did enjoy please hit the like button and subscribe I'll see you guys in the next one peace out